Well, the debate in Tallahassee about the future of Bright Futures has a lot of graduating seniors and college students unsure of how they'll pay for school. WPTV News Channel 5 anchor Tanya Rogers here with some alternative financial help. Tanya? Well, Bright Futures covers up to 100% of tuition at a Florida public university, now roughly more than $6,000 a year. If lawmakers vote to change the way it pays out, a lot of families will need to find other ways to finance higher education. Now, first and foremost, fill out the FAFSA, which stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Now, it's based on your family's income and will recommend grants that won't need to be paid back as well as work study. But the biggest tip? seek out any and all scholarships. About two or three years ago, there was a $20,000 scholarship for King High School students. One student applied for that scholarship and she received that $20,000 scholarship because she didn't have any competition. Well, if you've exhausted all of the free money, so to speak, avenues, there are subsidized loans where no interest accrues until six months after the student leaves school. Now, unsubsidized loans start accruing interest as soon as the student takes out the loan. We have links to scholarship seeking sites on WPTV.com. Tanya, thank you.